Good evening everybody, welcome back to it. So it's been a real long time since we've addressed any questions on this channel. Tonight's not going to be an action video, this is going to be purely a talking video, so if you're not here to listen to somebody ramble on, find another video. No need to uh, take it any farther than there. So I had a moment tonight to kind of reflect on a few things. The, some of the comments, the questions, not uh, not so much the comments, but the questions I get in the comments section. And so many of those comments start with, well, wouldn't it be easier? Or I've had quite a few of the last couple of years, why wouldn't you just stick build it? Things like that. So I guess that kind of leads to a big general question of why even build a timber frame? What's so special about it? And, well... I have some thoughts on it that maybe might help some of you who are on the fence if you're new to this channel and this video pops up, you know, and you're searching timber framing, give you a little insight as to why I'm doing this, why I enjoy it so much. Um, so I guess I'll start with, uh, there's another channel out there called Timber Doodles. He's a timber framer up in Maine, he's a blueberry farmer and all that also, but he does some phenomenal timber framing work and I'd mentioned there was a comment, I, I can't even remember exactly the comment I'd made in a video, but he, he picked up on it and he said, you know, you're building history. And that really made me think. So, 150 years from now, if I did this thing right and it's still in really good shape, my great-grandchildren could be out here, if the family still has it, and say, geez, that's where our great-grandfather put this thing together. Or if it's somebody new, maybe they'll come along and say, holy cow, you know, who did this work? Who, who took the time to do this? Will they know that one guy sat out here pretty much by himself for three or four years building this big building? You know, it's just, it's a neat thing to think on. I don't know how many of you have ever gone into an old building that's similar to this and could actually picture the people as they were doing the work and what it must have taken to get that work done. How much of their blood, sweat, tears, and everything went into this big building with this neat joinery and the pegs that hold it all together. You know, I, I grew up in a farm town, and a lot of the barns there were built in the 1820s. And they were hand-hewn beams. They were pegged together. And that kind of started the fascination for me. And I can remember as a kid going into our barn at home where I grew up, and just looking around at the timbers and seeing the axe marks and the adze marks and things like that and seeing the hand rive pegs not knowing it for what it was when I was a kid but being really fascinated by it and thinking to myself I wonder what it must have been like to build this thing I, I wonder about the people who put it up you know it just questions like that the, the interest started for me young so over the years, you know, as I got older, the bug kind of bit me and I said, geez, I just, I have to try this out. So to me, you're building history. And he put it, Timber Doodles put it so well in that comment. It's just, it's kind of a neat thing. You know, I, I don't walk into a stick built house or I don't walk into a very sterile feeling building that's all white and cinder block. I never have that thought, who built this? Who did it? What must that have been like for them? It doesn't even cross my mind. I go into an old church or something to work and I see the ornate work. I see some of the timber work in some of them around here. You get into the bones of the building, which is where I end up working on a lot of the boilers and things like that. And you can see the underbelly of what was actually built, especially these old ones where they're timbered and all that. And it just, I always, I always take a moment to pause and look around me and think, this is really neat. This is a cool thing. Somebody really put their time and thought into this thing. It just It's a character that you don't find in a lot of modern building techniques. So that's, that's one of the big reasons why I'm so fascinated with it. Another reason to build a timber frame is you're building for strength. You're building something that should last a really long time. If you did it right and you size things right, that building's going to last a long, long time. Some of the oldest structures in the world are timber frame structures. Over in Japan, the big temples over there, there's not a nail in the place holding together. They're a couple thousand years old. They're sitting over there. They've survived earthquake, nuclear explosions, war. Just think of the things 
those those buildings have survived. Think of the stories they could tell. You know, you go into Europe, you know, and they, even in Germany, in Austria, places like that, and they still have the timber frames that are four to six hundred years old. They're still standing. They're still being used. Not much wrong with them. I mean, they've been maintained. There's still the lime plaster on the front of them on the outside. The timbers are still exposed. Four to six hundred year old timbers on buildings still being used, still exposed. To me, I don't see many stick built houses lasting that long. I mean, how many of you guys who watch this channel work in the trades and you go into a stick built house from the 70s and stuff's already rotting, the place is already falling apart? You know, to me, modern, modern construction is relying so much on glues and laminates and things like that. It's just that I don't see the longevity of it. But uh, so that's the other thing, you know, it's. You're, you're really building for strength there that you don't seem to find in a lot of modern stuff. Uh, the, other, the other reason why you would choose to build a timber frame, say over a stick built, is you're building your skill level. If you're doing the work yourself, you're going to get better at woodworking. If that's what you're into, you're really going to get better at it just through the process of building this frame. You're going to do things when you're building a timber frame that you're going to step back yourself and look at it and think, I can't believe I just did this. How did that work? How did I how did I get that right? I've never had that feeling when I framed a house stick built. I've never had that feeling. I've never I mean I've stepped back at the end of a work day and said, ah, oh, we get a lot done today. But I've never had that sense of wonder about it that I do after a day of cutting joinery and then sliding things together and having them fit. So it's you know, to me that's another reason to build the timber frame. You know, so when I get those questions and those comments of wouldn't it be easier just to stick build that thing you would have been done by now? It would have been so much faster and easier and you, you wouldn't have been lugging on heavy timbers. Yeah, you're right. Would have been a lot easier. So all you guys who have made those comments absolutely would have been easier. But there's something missing in today's society that I, I see a lot of the, you know, you see it in the last couple of generations where the actual pride in the work itself and the joy of working with your hands, the joy of lifting something heavy and figuring it out and having it move, having it go together, it's just not there anymore. And that's so sad. You know, I see, uh, I watch channels like the Nor the Northmen, uh, used to be John Neiman Tools. And yeah, they do some amazing stuff. But what they're doing, it's you know they're really into it they really enjoy it but that's over in it's in eastern europe you know I, i'd like to see some of that feeling make its way across the pond here and more people getting back in touch with what it's actually like to feel the reward of actually working and making something that that to me is to me that was one of the biggest reasons i did this that's why i Geez, that's why I sat out here freezing my ass off or out in the rain and just that reward, that, that sense of reward for doing the work itself. There's not much better at the end of a long day at, at your job. You've just had a bad day where nothing's gone right. For me, I come home to my therapy and that's making these videos, working on this timber frame, pounding on the anvil. In the winter time, it's up in the wood shop. Just that feeling of making and creating and working with my hands brings me more satisfaction than anything else I do in this world. You know, and, uh, and that's why I'm out here so much. I just, I don't know, I had a kind of a, a kind of a night of introspection and I didn't really have time to get out here to work on this project and I wanted to put something out for you guys and I thought now would be a really good time to get into this kind of thing. But, um, you know, some other reasons to choose a timber frame over a stick. You do a pretty open floor plan. You may have some center posts, but for the most part, it's a wide open floor plan. And Timber Doodles also said, I know, I know what it was. The original comment was, I didn't know how actual green, when you're talking building technology, a timber frame is. And he made a good point. You're putting a structure up there that's going to last hundreds of years if you did it right that's a lot of trees you're going to save within those hundreds of years time 
that's really something to think about. So when you think about the conservation of building something like this, you can't look at it just our lifetimes. You get to look at it the following years and the following generations going down the road. And uh, I don't know. It's just a cool thing. I, I just, um, I don't know. But I tell you what, like I said, if, if you guys are on the fence about doing this, if you're brand new to this channel and you're just say this is the first video you've seen here, because that does happen a lot, you know, really think about it. Think about the things that bring you joy if you're into woodworking and using your hands. I, I see so many people that get hung up on the finished product and just getting to the finished product. And they just lose that entire journey in between of from start to finish. You know, I, t I tell you what, I walk in this building now, yeah, it's cool I built this, but I don't have the same feeling now that it's wrapping up that I did when I started it or in between or even though it was wide open to the elements. You know, part of my daily routine is coming out here and cutting joinery, milling on the sawmill, stuff like that. The problem solving, the figuring out how am I going to stand this monster by myself and no help. And yeah, I got banged up a little bit on it, but you know what? Well, what I do for a living, I could be electrocuted tomorrow, I could have a boiler blow up on me. A lot can happen. I've had a lot of close calls over the years in the trades, you know, just stuff that may not seem close at the time, but you get to the, the end of it and you look back, it's like, geez, you know, that could have that could have been it. You know, so it's, yeah, I got hurt on this thing, but you know what? That could happen to any of us. It doesn't matter how careful you are. You can have all the PPE in the world. You could still get hurt, and a lot of guys and gals still do, but... To me, you know, I wouldn't trade that experience for this building. I would do, if I had to do this over again tomorrow, and I could just start over again knowing what I know now, knowing that I would be laid up for months, you know what? I'd still do it. I'd definitely still do it. How many people can sit there and say they've built something like this? Not too many. Now, I, I enjoy seeing a resurgence in the interest of these old time things coming up and uh, but it still amazes me how many people miss the point of why you're actually doing it you know I'm not doing this building for people on YouTube I'm doing it for me and the people on YouTube is you know all you guys and gals who watch it's an added bonus for me you know it's it's neat to see other people who are fascinated by this kind of thing also even if you never build one it's neat to see it, neat to see the process. I mean, the process I use wasn't too awful different than what they did throughout the centuries. I just had power equipment to help me out, whereas, you know, they found other ways. But uh, anyway, that's it. I guess that's my little bit of introspection for the night. I guess that's a little bit, uh, we'll, we'll title this one, Why Would You Build a Timber Frame? Those are just my thoughts on it. You know, that's kind of what got me going on it and how we've ended up where we are so anyway next time out we should be finishing closing this up starting on some doors for it getting planned out where the forge hood and maybe the final design of the blacksmith shop and plus i have a few really cool blacksmith shop projects coming up that i think you guys are really going to enjoy so thanks for watching everybody thanks for listening to me yak and i'll catch you on the next one